talking about the weather and how it's certainly cooler out there, cloudy as well, but we're in for a warm up eventually. I'm looking forward to when that is really going to hit us here. Let's get the details from Ron. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's going to be on Thursday. We're going to see today plenty of clouds around, likely into the 70s. And again, a fairly similar setup as we're heading into your Wednesday. Cloudy conditions, temperatures likely a couple of degrees below the average this time of the year. That small chance for a passing rain shower here or there uh, will also be possible. You see some of the clouds right there. The airport showing mostly cloudy skies. 71 for your temperature at this point. Hey, the dew point still all the way down to 58 degrees, so it's a fairly dry air mass, especially this time of the year. Fairly dry air mass is in place, so winds out of the southeast at around eight miles an hour uh, is what we're looking at right now. So I'll zoom out and just kind of show you that we do have some rain. Man, look at the rain up in the east. Erie area right on top of Lake Erie. Also some rain heading our way that's moving right at the uh, state line at this point. As we zoom in, we'll go over to live radar. You can see some very light, just basically some drizzle and light passing showers in the Greensburg area at this point. And then down in Mount Pleasant area, they do have some rain. Also, this is around the Luzerne area, Uniontown, so Fayette County moving into uh, Green County, moving towards Washington County. You'll also see the rain. Notice anything different today than what we normally would see? Yeah, the rain showers moving a little bit opposite of where they normally would move. First off, they're moving to the north, but they do have a little bit of a westerly tilt. They're kind of moving northwest over the course of the day to, and tomorrow. That's what we expect. This is something doesn't happen very often, but you do oftentimes or I should say about uh, three or four times a year see this type of a movement uh, with the setup that we have. Uh, I do want to point to you that uh, model data has really continuously shown Armstrong and Indiana County being the best or most likely place to see rain today. Yesterday it was down into uh, Green County and Fayette County. Both of those communities, uh, some communities in those areas seeing upwards of one to an inch and a half of rain. So you can see those big totals there could be up along I 80. That's certainly where we need to see some rain. It's been abnormally dry over the last few weeks and our US drought monitor part of NOAA is showing that they're saying, hey, this is an area we're watching where we're starting to see some very isolated drought conditions at this point. So we need some rain up along I-80. Let's talk about your rain chances. Fairly low, just a 40% chance today, 40% chance for rain on Wednesday. We wrap up our rain chances on Thursday morning. I have Friday dry, so most of the day Thursday. Uh, in fact, uh, all the rain should be here before the sun comes up. The rest of the day Thursday, Friday dry. I, I really think that our best chance for rain now comes as we're heading into the uh, weekend. Saturday, 40% chance for rain, 70% chance your rain chance on Sunday. So we start to see that rain chance going up. Here's a look at high temperatures today. I have bumped up the Pittsburgh area now to 75 degrees, had us into the low 70s, but we've seen a little bit more sunshine, so that should allow us to get back into the mid 70s. You can see the green block. That's where we had that scattered chance for rain. It's all the way through around 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Then we'll go back to an isolated chance for rain. Still a chance for rain in the overnight hours, but it should be lower than what we'll see over the next few hours. Here's your seven day 75 today, 74 your Wednesday high. Then we're back in the 80s. Remember what I said about Thursday rain comes to an end before sunrise. 80 your expected high Friday's looking fantastic. 83 and our humidity levels both days Thursday and Friday. They're on the low side. It's going to feel fantastic outside. Humidity ticks back up to the moderate rain Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures still into the 80s. Backside of the big system coming in over the weekend. We'll see those temperatures dropping on Monday. 76 your expected high.